in my lab we want to understand the basic principles of how cells form tissue because I very strongly believe that you have to understand development where it happens how it happens to in the long term really understand also what happens when things go wrong in my group we try to understand how a very important part of the brain is made which is the retina the retina allows us to perceive our visual environment it's very important for sight and we try to understand the very early stages of retinal development how it evolves from the brain how the different neurons that make up the retina emerge So to understand how cells behave in this very crowded environment and how cells get to the right place at the right time, the methods we use are mainly imaging methods. We use very different microscopes and we really operate at the border between developmental and cell biology. So we want to understand how tissues behave, but we also want to understand how the cells within this tissue behave. And for to this end, we have to look also into the cells. The big advantage of using the zebrafish as a model system is that we really can watch things while they happen, where they happen. Due to the fact that we all come from different cultures, we also have a lot of discussion about these cultures and that does not only happen in the lab or at lunch, which we also go on a lab hike and always see who's the fastest going up the mountain. And for me, it's always important that the people in the group get along and that we can discuss seriously, we can also fight, but we also have to have fun from time to time. So for me, when I got this offer to start my own group at the Max Planck here in Dresden, for me this seemed like a lifetime opportunity. Now I work with physicists, I work with people that work on super resolution, developmental biologists, cell biologists, everybody has a different view, everybody has a different angle to look at the problem. And I think this is really one of the few places in the world where you can do this kind of interdisciplinary, meeting people all the time in the coffee room, in the Mensa, discuss your science. I'm now entering frontiers that I would not have expected to enter five years ago. I like microscopy and when I was first exposed to microscopy and to imaging and the things you can do with imaging and can learn from imaging, this is when I could for the first time imagine that this is something that can excite me for a very long time and it still does.